Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Matt McMahon, here to cover some CDs and Switch games. This is gonna be heavily edited, so let's freaking a go. First up in the Switch games is Moon, the premium edition. It comes with a CD, a game, a art book, and a translation of the CD based on the made up language of the game. The game itself is basically a sort of unique style uh, RPG that helped inspire Undertale. And funny enough, Undertale helped inspire this physical release. It is indeed a wonderful game, but very weird, very weird in Japanese. Next up is Wallachia. Reign of Dracula. Basically, it's a limited copy release sort of thing. I think this is like 2,439 to 5,000. I literally just read that. Uh, it's a Castlevania clone. It's very much on the cheaper feeling side, but it's definitely a quality product. Although you can't buy it on the eShop anymore, at least as far as I'm aware. I tried looking up, couldn't find it. So I guess it's a physical only release. How funny is that? Next up, when it comes to physical releases, we have Misplosion Man. It's a very cringe game when it comes to humor. There's an original game published by Microsoft that is only on Microsoft platforms. The sequel, though, is imported to various things. It is a cool sort of uh, running sort of platformer with a gimmick being that you can only explode three times and go through various levels trying to explode people because you're a misplode man. Very fun game. It's published by Limited Run, those greedy bastards. That's the Switch game section. Over, let's move on to the CDs real quick. First up is the homey release from Chon. It comes with an air freshener, two stickers. I bought this supposedly used, but it turns out it's actually brand new. It, it was never even opened. And the music itself is what you expect from Chon, sort of uh, airy, sort of math rocky sick instrumentals with occasional vocals from featured artists. Next up is The Cranberries, No Need to Argue, their titular 1994 release which featured the hit song Zombie, which got in trouble in Ireland, believe it or not. They're an Irish band, rest in peace the lead singer, she died in a very tragic way, look it up, and a very pretty woman, very sad, very unfortunate she died alone. It's very soulful and emotional and very much ahead of its time, in my opinion. Next up is the Essential Eddie Arnold CD. Now this CD came to me in a little bit of a broken state, was able to repair it relatively easy by going to Goodwill and getting some brand new CDs for like really cheap and replacing the cases with pretty much a lot of these CDs that you're actually watching. This Eddie Arnold CD has a very famous song, It's a Sin, which was featured in Fallout New Vegas, but he has other great songs on this album. It's definitely the best of in the sense that you get a very wide scope of Eddie Arnold. He's a very good country artist, in my opinion, one of the best to ever do it. More people should listen to Eddie Arnold, he's a treasure. Finally, we have a rare as hell CD, it's Gundam Rock by Andrew WK. Now, believe it or not, when I first tried to rip the CD, it actually scratched to all hell and back. I had to go to my local disc store in order to repair it. Thankfully, they were able to repair it. It's a really good Andrew WK album as well as a good Gundam album. They definitely maintain the spirit of Gundam while giving an Andrew WK flair. It's one of those releases that they had to release in Japan. He didn't release anything in America for like close to 10 years because of this fucking asshole who was suing him. He sorted it out. A lot of stuff has come to America. This has not. It's a Japanese exclusive and I'm really glad to have it. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. 